Hey there, this is Stepan with Claire Online Video, and welcome to this tutorial on adding interactivity to some popular online video players. This is part two of two, and we'll cover Vimeo interactivity. Part one of this series covered interactivity within the YouTube player, so be sure to check out that if you're using YouTube. I'm a big fan of Vimeo and everything this platform offers. Not only is their quality unmatched, but they also have a ton of player options that are incredible marketing and lead generation tools. Even if you're not creating marketing videos, you can still create clickable call to actions within the Vimeo player that can encourage your audience to do something after watching your content. The features I highlight in this demo come with a Vimeo Pro account, which is a paid option. While it's not free, this is one of the more economic and easy to use players out there in online video land. Starting with having a video uploaded to Vimeo, navigate to the video settings for any video. Then navigate over to the embed choice in the side menu. Here, we're going to add two different interactive elements to this video. These will work when the video is embedded onto an external page or website. Once you have the embed page open, you'll see a sidebar with several options. Scroll down to the custom controls section. Here, we're going to add a custom logo to our player. I like to use this feature to watermark my videos. Not only will this logo show up on my videos, but I can also link to this logo by enabling this option and entering a URL. It's a pretty cool way to ensure that people are getting back to your website or page even if your video were to get embedded in some other place. Below the custom controls section, there's an interaction tools area. With a Vimeo business account, you're given even more ways to add interaction to the video player. You can do things like collect email captures during or after a video. Sticking with the pro account, we'll add an end screen that will show as a message at the end of our video. If I select the call to action dropdown, you can see a number of different options to add to this end screen. Email capture is grayed out because like I mentioned, that's part of the Vimeo business account. Let's stick with the call to action choice. Here we can add a title that will encourage viewers to take action once they're done watching our video. You can add more context to the description section, but I'd suggest keeping the messaging pretty short here. The button section gives you another option to add an interactive link element that users can click to be taken to a website. You can edit that link in this bottom section. Once you're done, you can update and save your settings for the video. Now when the video is embedded onto a site, you'll be able to fully utilize those interactive elements we've added. And there you have it. Those are two small interactive elements that are great for any type of video, whether it's marketing, sales, or even just trying to get your work out there in front of an audience. These features can take people to more of your videos or other supporting material to help you reach those video goals. Be sure to check out part one, which covers YouTube interactivity. Thank you for watching.